Right, it's Holford. 26th of February 2019. I've come out. Be the first time in February that I've been out and I've been I'm trying to do some photographs for each month of the year. I didn't know if this would be possible. When I came out in January, I didn't know whether Alberta would make it through the MOT, whether it would be very expensive, whether I'd have to sell her. As it turned out, she sailed through the MOT, only had to pay the fee. Nothing dangerous, no severe warnings, nothing. I'm really happy with that, which means she's on the road for another year with me. She's on the road another year with me. So this is just an introduction to today's walk. The plan is I'm going to um, head over towards the Beacon area, the Trig Point. I can't remember the names of the places. And I'm doing the reverse walk that I did earlier in the year. Um, which I which I had partially done before up a, like a valley where lots of pretty trees were I'm sort of doing it in reverse today do get the odd car coming along do it in reverse because so I thought the weather's going to get colder again by the end of the week they, they reckon So um, I thought, come out Sheila, come out now and uh, so basically what I'm going to be doing in a minute is uh, walking up through this track here rather than go past or Foxham which I had thought of doing I don't know whether to do the old Foxham bit, bit and then round instead of going that way Can't decide. Yes, I'll go this way. I said I've been coming doing this bit a few times lately. I'll do the old fox and bit. Now, if I'm not wearing big coats, they said it's going to be up to 16 degrees by midday. Um, obviously, I'm feeling a bit nippy at the moment. Feeling a bit nippy. There's the old pound there. It's the old pound. I'm feeling a bit nippy at the moment. So it's the it's about ten o'clock in the morning. I would have got here earlier, but what happened was there was a huge traffic jam over at um, Limpsham. Traffic there's roadworks. And it's really, well, it's, it was going to be worse later. I forgot about that. I could have done a diversion. So I put half an hour on my time. Um, I, I planned to have been over here between nine and half past. As it was, I didn't get over here to ten. That's because of the traffic jam. Anyway, what I'm saying is I've only got a lightweight coat on. Um, it's a type of windshield, really, with a little bit of an added bonus with better pockets that zip up and stuff and um, so it's, it's, it's more shower proof than just the the windproof although it's not as long as my wind my windshield windshield is very good by the way but I do like to try out all the coats I mean if I wore my other coat my green waxy jacket type one it's very heavy. You can't just roll it up and put it in your rucksack. Not, I'm, I haven't got a huge rucksack with me. Whereas this one folds up really small. 
and by the time I've walked for about half an hour I probably start feeling warm enough to take it off completely. I lost one of my hats the other day when I was out walking. I knew I was. I had a feeling I would because I put it in my pocket of another coat I had. I did check it every now and again. I must have got distracted and I can't find that anywhere. Like I can't find a really good torch that I had for Christmas from somebody. That's gone missing. I think I left that outside when I was putting the dustbins out and forgot to pick it up on the way in. That was brand new. And it's just life. You can't. I mean, years ago, I would have been really dis. I would have been upset more by losing. Um, I can get another hat. I can get another torch. It was a twin pack torch, so I've still got the other half. It's really good. Anyway. Even if someone in the same building me picked up, they they would they would steal it. They wouldn't sort of ask around if it's belong to anybody. You know, people don't. Anyway, I'm walking. I've left Old Berta. Like I said, she passed her test. So we've got another year together. That's, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. I'm really pleased. This is going into our. Six year, fifth or sixth year, I think. Yeah, fifth, going into our fifth year. Or it could be going into our sixth year. I always get muddled up. There's a walkway down there. If you go down through there, which I've done before, you go across a bridge, across the stream, and up the other side. Yeah, I decided I would do that because if I go, if I went up the other way, up. I can't remember all the names of the places, but if, I, if I'd gone by the dog pound up, I would have been in, really, in the shade a lot. And that's quite a climb. I've got to do a bit of a climb in a minute. But it is a nice view here. I do like going past our fox and house. I seen a lot of deer like, uh, last year when I was roaming about. There is some deer that hang out in a field up here anyway, because that field used to be owned by people who are against um, animal cruelty and sports and all that and they used to let the deer go there and the deer still go there I don't know if it belongs to those people anymore but apparently the deer still feel they can, they're safe there it's weird that isn't it we'll be coming round this corner in a minute I brought both cameras and the charger I have noticed with the this particular camera, it doesn't last as long as the, its other one, younger, older sibling if you like, um, they're the same make, but it's, uh, it's good to have two cameras that you like, that aren't too heavy, I wouldn't want to carry a great big heavy camera about as I've stated before. Yeah, so I don't know what the progress will be with old Fox and House. It had been up for sale. Some work had been done on the walled garden, tidied up really quite a lot. Um, I'm gl I'll be glad when I, if the house is done up. That'll be really good. Little pony over there, all on his own. We come up to these spectacular views in a minute over the arable land leading across the, to the Bristol Channel. A place called Kilve over there. Well, I did beach walks there last year and I'm going to do some more this year in the opposite direction. That's plan A. I had thought about doing that today and I thought, no, I've got to get my picture up on the Quantox for February. <sighs> Apparently there is a walk down through that wood and you can link up with a, a track over there and go to Kilf. I need to try that one day because I haven't done that. I haven't been down through that wood. See, there's a wood there. I think that would be quite interesting. <sighs> It's not well advertised. There's a bench there. I've sat there before now. I've sat there with Georgia. And we, the deer were all in these fields around here. It's just horses today. 
Yeah. A few cars going past me today as well. Right, over and out. <laughs>